Coming up on today's show. Student Council, Picture Day Retake, Softball, and Day of the Dead. Tight news starts now. Good morning, Titans. Today is Wednesday, November 1st, 2023. I am Julian Rivera. And I am George. Let's get started with the morning Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Student Council will be meeting today at 2.15 p.m. in room B324. Please see Mrs. Cooper or Mrs. Mondak if you have any questions. All are welcome. Attention all Lorraine High National Honor Society members, there will be a quick meeting today, Wednesday, November 1st at 2.25 p.m. in C223. We will be finalizing speeches and responsibilities and discuss the upcoming ceremony. Also, if you have signed your contract and dues, please bring those as well. If you have any questions, see Mr. Cawthorn. Picture Day Makeup Day is this Friday, November 3rd. Students who did not have their picture taken in September will receive a call slip on Friday to have their picture taken. Pictures in Power School must be updated, so everyone needs to have their picture taken. Students who aren't happy with their pictures can have it retaken on Friday. Scan the QR code and fill out the Google form, and you will receive a call slip for retakes. This is a new QR code, and this must be done by tomorrow, so call slips can be created. If you purchase pictures, you must return those pictures if you wish to take retakes. Softball open gyms will continue in the gym on the days shown. A reminder to bring your equipment and to dress appropriately for softball activities. Halloween is over, but the celebration continues for most some people and cultures. Here's a video explaining Day of the Dead. What is Day of the Dead? Day of the Dead, also known as Dia de los Muertos, is celebrated throughout Mexico and some other Latin American countries and parts of the United States each year. This public holiday is a celebration during which the dead are honoured. Its roots began over 3,000 years ago. It's celebrated across three days. The first day is on the same day as Halloween, the 31st of October. It is a festivity of flowers, food, candles, parades, prayer and fun. On this day at midnight, it is believed the gates of heaven are opened so that the dead can return to the land of the living and spend time with their loved ones. The second day is celebrated on the 1st of November, which is also All Saints Day. This is dedicated to children who have died and is when their spirits are believed to return to visit their families. The third day is celebrated on the 2nd of November, which is also All Souls Day. This is when the spirits of the dead adults are believed to visit loved ones. During the celebrations, people create ofrendas, also known as altars, to honour the deceased. The altars are a space to remember loved ones and light candles to guide the spirits. Things such as pictures, gifts, flowers, candles and foods that the deceased enjoyed whilst alive are placed on the altar. 
Sometimes parades are held, where people dress up as skeletons and wear elaborate costumes, makeup and masks. The largest parade is held in Mexico City and is attended by many thousands of people. So, what have you learnt about Dia de los Muertos? Check out our Twinkle website to learn more about Day of the Dead. Thanks for watching. November is Diabetes Awareness Month. Here's just one fact. Type 1 diabetes is caused by an autoimmune reaction that destroys the beta cells in the pancreas that make insulin. We are on Instagram. Follow us at LHS Titan News. We hope to see you there. Lorraine High Titans honor kindness to self, others, and the environment. We're tolerant, we support each other, we seek to spread kindness, not hate. The Lorraine High Campus is a non-violent, sacred space for all to learn, grow, and achieve excellence. Rise together, Titans. Greatness is in us. That's all we have for today. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and be kind to our environment. Go Titans.